Hi, I'm Larissa, and I'm here today to bring you this edition of Digilent Show and Tell. Show and Tell is a product focus on things that you may not know is on our website. So the first thing that we're going to focus on today are clip solutions. We have two clips, uh, the PMOD clip and the Zuno clip, and both of these are used to affix our boards to uh, different surfaces, most notably on our robotics platform. So here you can see one of our robot platforms, and right here is the PMOD clip, or um, the Zuno clips right here. These are fairly strong clips, so for example, I can clip any 2.1 inch product, let's see if I can get it in, and it's pretty affixed. So anyways, um, it fits a wide variety of boards, not just our chip kit boards, but you can also get the BeagleBone Black on there, um, the very popular Arduino platform, or even the Freescale Freedom Board, and we have a blog post on does it fit. So scope out the Zuno clips if you have any um, solutions that you need to affix one of our boards to. We also have at the very bottom of the page the STL files, so if you have a board that's slightly wider or smaller than 2.1 um, inches, then you can actually um, stretch it out and print, if you have a 3D printer, your own Zuno clips. Okay, so our next product that we have is another accessory product, and I'm actually excited about it. This was our holiday bundle, and it's a student project box to make all of your kits ruggedized in your backpack. So the box is, uh, we spent a long time deciding to find the correct box. We made sure the hinge was high quality so it would last through a whole semester. It's uh, about an inch and a half deep, it's seven inches, seven inches wide, and it's five 0.75 inches across. And the reason why this is su such a good size is that you can fit a variety of our boards, especially the ones that don't come in the hard CD cases. So um, here's a project box in action right now where someone is storing their USB cables and lots of wires. And then this is one of our training boxes that we take to training shows. So they're very useful. You can buy them by themselves for $7 or you can add it as an add-on item inside of your a uh, cart if you buy a board and you can configure it as an add-on item. It does come with a, a free sheet of stickers, so enjoy them. All right, so the last product today for the show and tell is the Zebo, which features the Zinc 7000 processor from Xilinx. You might have already seen this. This is a very popular education board, but it has the Xilinx coprocessing um, SOC, so it, there's an ARM core and an FPGA. So what you might not know about it though is if you cart this, there's an option to put a configurable item of the zinc accessory pack. And the accessory pack inside of that includes everything you need to work with your zinc board. So there is a power supply and um, we include the EU adapter for our EU customers. And there is a um, memory card that is the correct speed for the Zebo to take. And then there is a USB cord for programming. There's also a voucher for Vivado so, and then that's included. Conveniently, all these things fit inside of the project box. There you go. So, thank you for joining us for this edition of Show and Tell, and I um, hope you liked it. This video is the first in what's going to be an ongoing series. Uh, we're going to try and produce these Show and Tell videos uh, once every couple of weeks. So if you have any ideas for products or other aspects of the company that you'd like to see featured uh, in one of these show and tell segments, then either post it on our Reddit at reddit.com slash digilent, or just leave a comment below. Uh, thank you for watching. Oh, and if you haven't yet, click over here to subscribe. Thanks.